Greetings, everyone. DFG here. Hey, guys. Um, I just want to have a, a follow-up conversation uh, with you uh, on a previous video that I did. Uh, and I was talking about a couple of people. I won't name them in this video because it's not about them. It's, it's about their message. And uh, and I want, this, I, I want to emphasize why I'm sharing what I'm sharing in, in, as regards to where should we be? Should we be here? In America, I'm talking about us Hebrew Israelites. Should we be here in America or should we be in Africa? Should we be returning back to Africa? Now, if you know my stance on it, you already know what I believe. Uh, a couple of nights ago, you know, I, I want to say I was in a state of reflection. You know, when you're, you ever been, you know, when you're asleep, but you're, and you're not quite, you haven't waken up yet but you're awake enough to be a conscious of what you're thinking about. Well, that happened to me. And, and this was right after I did that video, by the way, when, when I talked about these individuals telling us to go back to Africa, the very same night, following morning of that same night. And, and, and the voice came to my mind. And I know it was the Ruach. I know it was Yah Yahuwah, or at least one of his, whoever the messenger was, was talking to me. And it gave me an example to use to better make the point that Yahuwah wanted me to make. Just in case I wasn't as clear as I needed to be the other night, or if someone, some of you guys may have gotten offended. Who's to say, all right? No judgment here. Just just um, sharing, you know, insight here, just perspective, all right? So when you look at, should we be here or should we be in Africa? Okay? Now, many of you guys have uh, know this already. And if you did not know it, you can probably go ask any white historian or any white supremacist and ask him or her about, you know, uh, slavery in Africa and who sold Africans, to, you know, to here, America. And they will tell you that Africans sold Africans. So when you start talking about white people, you know, enslaved us, they'll tell you, no, black people did it too. Black people did it too. They're right. But the black people who sold us into slavery were not us. And, and I know some of you are going to get in your, in your feelings right now. But for you, get in your feelings. But for you who want to be informed, and at least want to say, okay, well, give me more information, you know, explain yourself. But let, that's what I intend to do. I'm going to explain myself why I say we are not them. Okay? And in order for me to do that using, you know, scripturally, because I don't care, if, if, if I can't back it up scripturally, I'm not going to have a whole lot of interest in it, guys, unless it's some kind of mathematics and maybe to some degree science, you know, um, just other, you know, day-to-day -day functioning things. Okay. But when it comes down to, to tr absolutes, if the Bible doesn't back it up for me, you, you're, gonna, you're not going to convince me of it. It's just not going to happen. All right? So I'm going to, to the book. So here I'm going into the book of Numbers. All right? The book, as you know. All right? They call it the Bible. Numbers chapter 14. I'm just going to read a couple of verses to you, and then I'm going to finish up this message. It says, And the children of Israel murmured, the children of Israel, that, that's our ancestry. The children of Israel murmured against Moses and against Aaron. And the whole congregation said unto them, Would Yah, Yahweh, Yahuwah, that we had died in the land of Egypt? Or would Yah, we had died in the wilderness. And wherefore had Elohim brought us into this land, talking about the new land they had gone in after they had crossed over out of Egypt. Wherefore had the Lord brought us unto this new land to fall by the sword. Boy, that shows sound like what's happening to us right here in America. To fall by the sword, that our wives and our children should be prey. And surely... <laughs> I think we all would agree that our wives, our women, and our children are prey here in America. Were it not better for us to return to Egypt? Now, this is a question they're saying. We'd be better off going back to Egypt. This is the same thing those guys that I mentioned the other night are telling us. Go back to, we'd be better going back to Egypt. Well, they're saying Africa. But we need to get some clarity about that. And they said, one another, let us make us a captain and let us return to Egypt. Okay. This, this is book. This is Bible. All right. <laughs> now, this is really going to be a, a History 101 class right here. 
Because here's something I found out, guys. I was very surprised to find out how many people did not know that uh, where Egypt is. Yeah, that's what I said. When you say Egypt, they think you're talking about in Asia or the Middle East or somewhere like that. Well, let me show you a map of Africa. Because, again, they're telling us to go back to Africa, right? That we should go back to Africa. Take a look at that. Now, you see where it says Asia over? I'm going to see if I can. Where, where is that? Okay, over here. Let me look right there. You see where it says Asia? Now, look a little bit over this direction. Oh, <laughs> You look over just a little bit. Sorry about that. You see Egypt. That is the continent of Africa. And the top right-hand corner, or maybe it's your left-hand corner, depending on where you look, you see Libya and you see Egypt. You see Egypt up there? All right? And just in case you don't know, again, that's the little, I guess you would call that orange, right? Can you see that? Egypt, right? See all those other African countries. Nigeria, see it, Mali, Niger, Chad. Okay. That's Egypt. Again, you see that? That's Egypt. Just so you see, it's the same map. Okay? So, when you look at Egypt, you know, you heard our people have been brought out of Egypt into the promised land. All right? A land flowing with milk and honey. A very rich land with rich soil and resources and, and game and, 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 and timber. All fresh air seasons waterways, riverways, lakes, <laughs> America, you know, this Egypt, see that Egypt right there, that Egypt, but they weren't satisfied in that new land, and many of them murmured and complained because they wanted to go back to Africa, and Yahweh judged them for that, therefore, Everyone that was 20 years old and older was judged, and many of them died there and stayed there where they died there. He, he killed some of them immediately, and then the rest of them died there. So what am I saying? What I'm saying to you is that it's not a new thing for Hebrew Israelites to be murmuring and complaining about going back to Africa. And you might look at that and say, well, okay, again, DFG, you know, <laughs> What does Africa have to do with us? Or what does Egypt have to do with us? Well, let me show you somebody here. Let me show you this, this fella. See this fella right here? Is that a black man? Hmm? Is that a black man? I think we all agree that's a black man. Looks like some of your grandfathers, right? Or uncles, brothers maybe, fathers. That's Adwa Sadat. Guess who he was? He was the president of Egypt during the Camp David affairs when President Carter was bringing, trying to bring him and the Israeli Prime Minister together. That's Atwa Sadat, the president of Egypt or Africa. So when you look at this man, as I just showed you here, I don't think any of us would dispute in Egypt that's a black man. So when you talk about Moses passed off as an Egyptian because Moses was a black man. When you talk about Yeshua passing off in Egypt when he was hiding from Herod, he looked like this person because Yeshua was a black man. There's no way a white man could have hid in black Egypt or black Africa. Oh, and by the way, those Africans sold us over here just like those Egyptians, Africans over there enslaved us over there for 400 years. That's correct. And so some of us, you know, were already here, as you heard me say before, and the rest of us came later. You say, DFG, well, when did we get it? Go back and read Genesis about Nimrod, the Tower of Babel, when Yahuwah confounded their languages and scattered them all over the earth. Many of the people, many of our people was, came right in this direction. If you can understand that. Stretch your imagination a little bit. You'll get there. But my bigger point is that Yahweh brought this to me in that, what I would call a vision. To say, no, this is what you give them. You give them the truth. You let them do what they can do, do whatever they want to do. As Joshua said, again, you heard me say, you know, let them, they can do whatever you want to do. You can think whatever you want to think. But I know what I'm going to believe. I'm going to believe the word. And so when I hear these guys coming back and telling us, 
you know, we need to go back to Africa. They're the same murmurs who were out there in the land where they were delivered into a very prosperous land, a land that was given to them, that the enemies had stolen from them, that Yahweh had given back to them, and they wanted to run right back to Africa, run right back to Egypt, and that's exactly what they're trying to get some of us to do right now today. Now you give them that scripture. Again, that is Numbers chapter 14, version 1 through 4. And tell them, explain yourself. Since they want to make it sound like we need to go back to Africa. Africa really wants us there. African said they're welcome. No, they didn't. They sold us there. Just like the Egyptian forefathers, you know, the African forefathers enslaved us and tried to keep us there. To be their slaves, not to be a part of their families. For labor. To be victimized. To kill our children. To molest and make our women and children pray. That's what the Africans were doing to us there. And Yahweh opened the door, and he may have used those slave ships to bring about 4% or less, about 300,000 plus over about a 150-year period of time of our rest of our brothers and sisters that he wanted to journey us here in this land of milk and honey. That, yes, the, the, the Edomites and, the, and the, the, the Hevites and all the other Ikes have come here you know, the Jebusites, yeah, they're here, and they're, and they're trying to, to take it from us and trying to scare us and manipulate us and marginalize us and, and abuse us, incarcerate us, murder us. Yeah, they're here, but just because they're here doesn't mean that this is where they're supposed to be or it belongs to them. This is our land. This is our land. This land was promised to us, the most prosperous land on the planet, not Africa. Africa's full of desolation over there and poverty and diseases and you name it. Vicious dictators and murderers and killers. You guys forgot about Idi Amin? Or what about the Rwandan, you know, genocide, the Houthis and the, um, what's the other one? You know, the, over a million of them killed each other in, in something like 90 days. Tutsis. Hutus and Tutsis. Murdered, slaughtered each other. And that's the land they're telling us that we want to go back to. And somehow or another, these same people who oppressed our ancestors enslaved our ancestors, you know, now they're going to give us what they call the okie the wink-wink, get us back over there. For what reason? Because they love us so much. No, my friend, no, my sisters, no, my brother. That's, that's deception, and you are not fall for that. We're home. This is where we're supposed to be until Yah, you know, makes our enemies our footstool, as he said. Until then, we need to be right here. We need to raise our families. We need to, we need to, uh, cultivate our culture. We need to study our history. We need to walk together as one unit, one power of people. And we need to separate ourselves from everything that uh, goes against Yahuwah and his word, including other so-called Hebrew Israelites who want to manipulate and lie and bring us, hand, how you say, hand deliver us back to the enemy, as they say. You know, Malcolm called them a name, but I'm not going to get into name calling right now. But I am going to get into to, 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 to names, to, to people shaming. And, and they ought to be ashamed of themselves, you know, selling us that lie. Again, you know, Egypt. We were there. We were in Africa. And they and they were the ones, you follow me, who, who sold us to the Arabs and they were some of our people to, to force us back here. They've never wanted us there. Okay? Egypt is Africa. So when you read in your scripture, it's talking about Egypt, it's talking about Africa. So why would you want to go back to a place that Yahweh delivered you from, your ancestors from? Why would you want to go back there if you're in your right state of mind? And again, you know, don't let them deceive you. And what really what what what, what Europe tried to do is really reclaim this place. They want to make this place the new Egypt, as you can see right here. You know, on their own currency. You see that? And that there there there's there's the pyramid, and there's the eye watching everything, your every move, using this money, this currency to control you. And got the audacity to say, what is that? In God we trust. Of course, their God, not our God. The same Egyptian gods that they were worshiping over there, they're worshiping right here. And if you're not careful, you're going to be worshiping the same gods too by listening to lies and lying you know, messages from them, like Balaam did, coming out there trying to sell the people out. <laughs> Love you guys. Talk to you later.